COVID lockdowns are something that many people might really just like to forget. Research shows that the pandemic did have lasting effects on our memories, and it even made our memories worse. For more, we are joined by Professor and Canada Research Chair at the University of Toronto, Morgan Berenz. Good morning. Welcome back. Thank you. I remember the last time you were here <laughs> because we were talking about memory. And anecdotally, people say all the time, I feel like my memory, like I have COVID memory. And you said that's actually a thing. That is actually a thing. There's countless studies that show that across the board, people reported what we call subjective declines in their memory. Okay, let's dig into that. The University of Toronto surveyed 735 people to determine the impact of the pandemic on their memories. And 70% of respondents felt that their days were very similar. They were filled with more anxiety. What else did you find in this research? So there was this kind of collective sense that time had lost all meaning. There was this word of the year in 2020 called blurs day. You know, people were <laughs> like, is it Monday? Is it Thursday? Is it Christmas or Easter? They're we just... started doing a swoosh on this show that had the day of the week for exactly that reason. Exactly, exactly. So without distinctive events to mark the passage of time, there's this feeling that we're disoriented, unmoored um, in our lives, and we have trouble keeping track of time and keeping track of what happened to us. So when we were telling, when people ask something, and we're like, I don't know, it was either two years or three years, I can't remember, that's a thing. Exactly, because we use memories as anchors to mark you know, what happened to us, how one event relates to the next event, and we were just making fewer memories during the pandemic, and so we're lacking those anchors, we're lacking those boundaries that help us orient ourselves in time and orient ourselves in our lives. When we had this conversation, it actually gave me a sense of peace because I was starting to get a little bit worried, but there's some science behind it, so I feel better. Which were the age groups that were most affected? So, you know, People like you or me, we experience these changes to our memory, we're gonna bounce back. But for older adults or individuals that are in the early stages of dementia, the isolation and that low cognitive enrichment environment of lockdowns was a major, major risk factor for mm -hmm. subsequent neurodegeneration. And could it have um, accelerated the rate of it? Absolutely, yes, it could have. One of the worst things that you can do for your memory is to not make memories. Our memory systems need practice. Oh. Um, yeah, so it's that you know expression, use it or lose it. Wow. This is fascinating. Um, how, how else were memories affected? Did they change at all? Did they not stick as well? They didn't stick as well, but there's also, so in the brain, we use something called event boundaries or changes in context where it's like a signal, something new is happening, make a memory. It's like our brain's way of saying, hey, this is different, it might be important, make a memory. When we were during the pandemic, we were just sitting at home, we didn't have those changes in context, so we made fewer memories. Wow. <sighs> This is very relieving. Uh, are there ways to fix what has been lost? Absolutely. Oh, really? Yes, and we even ran a study. So in my lab, you know, we were having these meetings, you know, is it Monday or is it Thursday? And we said, hey, you know, hey, let's do a study. So in, we've designed an app, it's called Hippocamera, um, that is designed to make, improve people's memory for everyday life events. And we said, hey, can we use this as a tool to get people to go out and do COVID safe, distinctive things? So it didn't have to be something major, just you take a typical event, give it a little bit of a twist, make it different in some way. So cook with a new spice, go to the park, notice something you haven't noticed before, look at a leaf, walk there in a different way, but commit to remembering it. Take the ordinary and make it a little bit less mundane. Oh, Morgan, this is such a great conversation. I always learn so much when we chat. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you so much. I'll remember everything you said. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.